associate me with the first 900. What's um, that? What's the net you spend? Uh, that is a two and a half spin in the air. Um, I mean, mostly because it was on ESPN. I, uh, I don't mean to cut you off there, but I did read that Danny Way was the first guy to ever land the 900. Is that true? He was the first guy to, to really try and almost make it, but he didn't make it. But you hear that? He didn't fucking make it. Tony Hawk did. Right? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for my co-host. Sometimes he gets on. That's okay. Line. Hey, you know what? Danny was the first to show that it was possible, so I give him a lot of credit. I gotta check these sources. That, that's my fault. I mean, how quickly do you want to lose your job? We get Tony Hawk for five minutes. <laughs> it's Hawk. okay. All right, so Tony, five All questions. Right. Are you ready? Um. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Well, just say yes. Here we go. What year, for two hundred dollars, did the first Tony Hawk Pro Skater get released? Nineteen ninety nine. Oh my goodness! Crazy, wow. right? Tony, very good. Two hundred dollars in the pot. Awesome. I'm, I'm trying to make this game so exciting because it's just we're in quarantine. I want. I wish I had like bells and whistles and like noises, but you got your voice. I mean, really, you you've been doing pretty well with that already. So let's just go with that. Well, what do I do if my voice goes away? Like if I lose my voice? You, you better have a backup plan. There is. You need time. a safety net. I'll be a mime commentator. That's of course. <laughs> All right, Tony Hawk, question number two. Which Tony Hawk video game sold the most copies? Now, you better know this because I'm sure you had a little piece of that back end, huh? Wow. Uh, I, I'm going to go with two. It had to be two. Is that a final answer? Uh, on your face? Yes. I'm going to say yes. No, I just had a twitch. I had a twitch. Uh, correct! Yes! yes. Thank you. All right, Mr. Hawk, two for two. It was Tony Hawk 2. Now, how much uh, did Tony Hawk do well, the video game franchise? It did very well. It changed my life dramatically, yes. Changed life meaning, like, you know, uh, how much we talking here, Tony? Uh, a lot of taxes. <laughs> Different, whole new tax bracket I didn't know existed. I'm asking you, if worse comes worse, can I have a loan? When shit has <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I, need to, I do need to pay my staff and my employees first. First and foremost, oh, and you, things you are actually pay things are shaky. Yeah, <laughs> All right, Tony. Question number three: Which of these pro skaters was not in the Tony Hawk Pro Skater Three? Oh wow! Was it Tony Hawk? Was I was it, in there. Wait, wait. You were in there? I, uh, briefly. Cameo. It wouldn't, make, it wouldn't make sense for you to be in the game. This is Aaron making these questions. Wait. Tony Hawk, Chad Muska, Muska yep. Rodney Mullen, or Bob Burnquist. Which one was not in the game there, Tony Gucci? Was not in number three? Was not in number three. Tony Hawk, Chad Muska, Rodney Mullen, or Bob Burnquist? Wow. Um, yeah, these aren't easy questions. We run a fucking hard show, Tony. This is harder than it was to be a millionaire. All right. <laughs> and there's no fucking lifelines. I'm trying to figure out when Rodney entered the fray for our games it's between rodney and bob so you um, want to, wait do you want to use a 50 50 yes all right computer please eliminate two answers <laughs> <laughs> the computer has eliminated tony hawk and chad muska it is now robert oh Mario. come on <laughs> that was a cheap shot uh i'm gonna i'm gonna have to say rodney <clears throat> it was Bob. It was Bob. So yeah. Bob left our series then. I guess so, yeah. Damn it. Tony, you know. A long time ago. What kind of, it was 18 years ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tony. A lot of video games. Don't date yourself, Tony. That is incorrect. <laughs> Two out of three. Damn it. Wow, we got him. I fucking love stuff in Tony Hawk. <laughs> That's something that's like, cool you can brag about. Be like, I, you know that time where I stumped Tony Hawk? All right, number four. Which Number four. Yeah. All right. In the 70s, I think. Skater in like the 70s, Aaron thinks, but he has no clue. All Who right. is known as Mr. Incredible? Mr. Incredible. I'll give you a clue. All right. The last name is if you turn <laughs> a book in, if you turn, if you turn a 
something in a book is his last name. I'm going to turn this, but it's not a book. Like, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm at page two. Fuck. Right. Yeah. Page. Page is the hint. Page. Mr. Incredible. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Ty Page. Ty Page. Ty Page. Ty Page. Yes. Three for four. Hawk. Very impressive skill. Thank you. you I caught to... I caught I caught the tie on there before you said it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get credit for that one. Did you get my analogy though? Like turn the Yeah, you really You're okay. making it seem a lot more complicated than it was. Alright, fuck. I should have just said it rhymed with rage. Sure. Okay. Tie page. I, but you know what? I was thinking more broader scale, Mr. Incredible. I thought it I think it was like Evil Knievel. Oh, so you're saying the question was shit. I thought yeah, well I was just I didn't realize we were just in the skating realm here. That's Aaron's fault. It's not my fault, Tony. It's okay. It's all right. I, I, I appreciate it. Ty Page is a legend. He was Mr. Incredible. He was Mr. Incredible, oh, Mary. Yeah. Question five. The first skateboard was built in what year? Oh, uh, you know what? That is just Multiple not... choice. Multiple choice. All right. Was it A, 2020? <laughs> Don't stop. I'm giving multiple choice. A, 2020. B, 1211. C, okay. 400 BC. Or D, 1967. D. D? Sure, D, 1967. 1967, Tony Hawk. That date, that date has been debated many times so it, it, it's in that area it's it that's the closest that you're going to get from all the one options you gave me so, so explain ex what do you mean that date has been argued I because people say like no the first guy that ever took trucks and wheels off a roller skate and and nailed them to a two by four that guy was like 1963 you know what i mean or whatever and what do you believe it is when was the first skateboard created? i think i think what you said is is closer to the truth are you still skating? Do you still do the? Uh, you I was yes. I was skating today, actually. Yes. Do you ever like go to like random skate parks and surprise kids and just start like going crazy like undercover? Well, not undercover. I mean, you know, before all this craziness happened, uh, definitely we go to parks. Yeah, it's you a little strange though because you like, show up at a park and kids expect me to perform magic. So like, <laughs> I show up and then they just sit down and they expect me to like float around and do all these spins and and i'm just trying to get used to the place so so it's a little awkward thing, when a kid comes up to you like say oh all right like there's a bunch of kids in the thing you go in like you walk in with your skateboard and you just start going yeah yeah and there are people like whoa whoa that, that's fucking tony hawk uh yeah yes and then and then they'll stop you during your i don't know if it's a routine like what is it called like a free skate uh yeah you, well you, a line is when you're doing a bunch of tricks in a row but generally if you're getting used to a park you're just kind of cruising for 20 30 seconds at a time and then you pop out so people will come over and you know say after what's up or whatever second, after the 30 second thing do they have the balls to come up after 30 seconds or they give you a little more time they usually come up yeah and they're like no it, magic. it's fun Ah, it, usually it's like they, they, they pick the hits. They're like, oh, do a 900, do a kickflip McTwist, do it, you know. Or nowadays, it's just do a kickflip. Do a kickflip. Right, 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 right. Do you do it every time? Uh, sure, yeah. Not, not 900s, but kickflips, yeah. <laughs> Tony's like, I'm just slinging 900s out every time I go out there. Yeah, no. What is the requ I mean, I'm just actually fascinated because I've never had, a, like, you know, I've never actually talked to a skateboarder before in my life. The first one ever is Tony Hawk. What is it like as far as, like, endurance-wise? Like, you know, like, if you're, do you get tired doing... Oh, yeah, for sure. So it's a I was actually, so today, I, I've been, basically, I'm either home or I'm at my ramp. I have, a, I have an office about 50 minutes from here with a big vert ramp that, if you ever see me skating, that's usually where I am. And the office is closed, but it's my private ramp, so, like, that's my playground. And I was there today, it was the fourth day in a row, and I was literally thinking, like, I am really tired. I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting older, but I don't remember the last time I skated four days in a row full on. And right. it's funny because there's some irony where 
are my ramp and my skating is getting more covers than ever because it's one of the few things that we can do and it's one of the few sort of sports things people can cover. Yeah. Right. So when you go in and do like, you know when you did that 900, right? Right. And you successfully completed it. How, what?